And now the moment that you have been waiting for. The moment that has kept people awake at night for weeks. The moment that has spurred emails and videos and speculation. And the moment that has generated revenue for a series of office pools. <laughs> the reveal of the word. But first, the history of the word. We have to do that. We have new people. It started on my arrival here in 2008, and it's something that I took from one of my mentors back in the mid-80s. And each year, he opened the school year with a focus. And something that we talked about, and it was on all pieces of correspondence, it was on the daily attendance sheet. It was on anything that went to the board, anything that went to the community. And it was our focus as a school community for each year. And it has become an annual focal point of our work with students and each other in the past few years. And some of the past words, opportunity. Opportunity provides each, the opportunity to provide each child a success in most words. We all want to be successful in our craft. We want to develop successful students, students who are ready to experience successfully their next phase of life that can achieve in strong ways and be globally competitive. Success is a good word, but not the word. Reach. Reach was another suggestion. We all at times need to reach back and draw on our experiences to help a child with a current dilemma, or to reach forward to grab for an opportunity to help a child whose aspirations have them focused on a goal. Reach had real good potential this year, and it made the final cut, but not the word. Family. The value of family for our students and guiding them on the importance of family at times when many of them don't want to hear one more thing about family. We welcome our new employees to our family as an organization, and we encourage them to become part of it and enjoy the success and support of one another, of their colleagues in this district. And then there's the personal family stuff. And on a personal level, family things sometimes become the undulation of what we deal with on a daily basis. The kid that comes to school in the morning, and we don't know what they've experienced the night before or the morning out, but we have them for the next six and a half hours, or sometimes 10 hours, if they're involved in activities after school. But to understand and respect where they come from, and to understand and respect where our colleagues come from, it's not always the perfect morning to get started. I think we know that. I knew that this morning when my shoelace broke. <laughs> and of course, not having children in the house anymore, we don't actually have a plethora of <laughs> shoelaces floating around, particularly the brown ones. Now, everybody's going to watch to see what the end of the shoelaces. I, I just took some time on it. It's tied, OK? Maybe not all the eyelets are there, but it's tied. <laughs> but family stuff that happens for us. And as I said, this summer, from a personal standpoint, family stuff is interesting. As we prepare for our youngest son's wedding on Saturday, this Saturday, that's the one in a couple of days. Uh, and I want to thank those of you who sent uh, expressions of sympathy uh, earlier this summer. Uh, not for that. Um, I lost uh, my mother a few weeks ago. And uh, I want to thank you because it was typical for what happens in this family, the expressions of sympathy that came through. So we have a unique place of family in our district. It really is a key point, and it could be the word. It really could be the word because we, it's so important for our kids. But didn't make it. So you've heard the history of the word. You've had past words, almost words. 
And really, I've spared you the almost words of past years. I mean, that was a whole other category. There's a long list there, almost words of past years. But we said no. You know, we're going to be out of here by noon. You know? <laughs> but we do have a word for this year. How about grit? Who won the pool? All right, I want to know who won the pool. Somebody had to win the pool. It's easy to spell. It's easy to remember. And it's challenging to achieve. We need grit. Our students need grit. That soft skill of, I think back in the old days, we called it stick to I don't know how they spelled that back, but we, we talked our generation, stick to It wasn't grit. It wasn't that simple, four letter word. Thing. Stick to But our kids need that. The ability to get up when they're down, the courage, the resolve, the strong character, the spirit, the nerve to carry on, the determination, the tenacity, the perseverance. Our kids need those skills, resilience. They have to be ambitious. Twice recently in the print or news media, I've heard the word grit referred to in terms of success of people. A race car driver who endured NASCAR struggles for a number of years and finally won that first race. Grit. At 190 miles an hour, you've got to have a lot of grit. <laughs> and then another of an actor who had overcome some adversity in the long term to achieve some grit. I worry a little about my grandchildren and What's going to happen in their world if they don't learn grit? We have to prepare those kids, Quentin, Seamus, Lauren, Eli, and Carter, to be gritty. I worry, will their teachers encourage them to stick with it and to bounce when they fall? We have to do that. We have to encourage the risk. We have to encourage them to persevere through adversity. Because these kids will change careers, not just jobs, careers, multiple times in their lives. They are going to have to have the quality of grit to persevere. We're talking about a generation who, of three and four year olds who have iPads and games that give them instant gratification. We're talking about a generation of kids who can go to the brick wall, poke in three or four numbers, and money comes out. That's pretty cool. They don't have to plan a lot for their shopping trip because there's a shopping a food store around every corner. <coughs> Unless you live in Springfield. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a whole generation of kids that are going to have to be tough. They're going to have to, they, they need the quality of grit and it's our job as part of the skills that we teach them as important as communication, as important as using technology, as important as all of the other quote unquote soft skills, but to teach them to persevere. It's so important. So as you leave here today and prepare your lessons, do so with a sense of grit. Be gritty in making each student's learning experience one that's personally relevant, engages their spirit, and makes learning irresistible. Whether it's pre-K students, grade 12, or students in the adult diploma program, encourage them to stick with it and go beyond and achieve their goals. As they pause and reflect on your wisdom, and believe me they do, and receive your guidance and your encouragement to apply grit to achieve their goals, I ask you to remember the words of Claude Debussy. It's the silence between the notes that makes the music. So listen to their silence. <coughs> Encourage them to persevere and in the end, 
celebrate and dance with them to their music. Please accept my best wishes for an exceptional school year. Thank you.